So you have just installed a Postgres database instance and you're trying to connect and you can't connect. Well, in this video, I'll be going over the steps how you can make the necessary configurations so you can successfully connect to your Postgres database. This video was taken from my course on Udemy. The link will be in the description below. So with that said, let's get started. If we attempt to connect to our database server now, the connection should fail. So we'll right click register server specify a name for your connection specify the host name and currently we don't have a password but let's try connect and see what error message we'll get connection fail timeout so now let's make the necessary configuration within our config files to accept connections first we need to identify the location of our config file so on the terminal type psql and the command to show the directory is show config underscore file both the hba config file and the postgresql file are in the same location exit by typing forward slash q change directory do a ll to list the files within your directory now the first step is to do a backup of the file that you want to change we're going to change the PostgreSQL connect file first. So I highlight, paste, and then specify a name for the backup. I missed a command, cp. Now edit the original config file. You want to scroll down and search for listing addresses. You want to uncomment the line. and remove local hosts and specify all addresses. So you'd use the asterisk to do that. Additionally, you could specify a list of address and separate them by a comma. The next thing we want to change is the authentication method. We want to enable it. So if you scroll down, you should see authentication and then on comment, password encryption. So it's either scrap sha-56 or md5. Once you make the necessary changes, escape, colon, w, and then q. The next file we want to edit is the hba config. So we need to take a backup, cp, copy the file, and specify the backup file name. Now vi to edit. And for testing purposes, we are going to allow connection from all IPs. So it's simply change the 127 to zero and change the 32 to zero. The authentication type can be Scrum or MD5. We're going to use MD5. This is pretty much saying the user need to specify a password when they are connecting. So if you don't want the user to specify a password, then you could specify a trust. So to save the file, press escape, colon, W and Q. Now let's restart Postgres to make the changes take effect. Select the user to restart, specify your password, and the last thing we need to do is set the password for the Postgres user. So we need to connect to Postgres again by typing psql, and to change the password, we need to alter the user Postgres and set the password that you want to connect with. Now let's try connecting again. So specify the password, select save, so my attempt to restart the server initially failed, so let me redo it. Restart, one, specify the password, authentication is now complete. Now let's try connecting to our database. So specify the password that you just set and try connecting to your again. And we're in. So that's pretty much how you configure your config file to able to connect to your Postgres database. In the next module, we'll be taking a look at managing our databases on Postgres.